Good morning, everyone. This is Betsy Rubin here, coordinator for the BCBA webinars. Today, in our midst, we have Mr. Prakash Almeida. Mr. Prakash Almeida is the founder and director of Career Development Center. He is a well-known career counselor in Vasai. He has been guiding students and parents for over two decades. Every year, thousands of students take benefit of his workshops, career aptitude tests, and counseling sessions. He holds multiple master's degrees, diplomas, and certificates in multiple subjects, and describes himself as a keen, lifelong learner. He regularly writes for various newspapers and periodicals on career guidance. You can reach out to him for career aptitude tests and counseling at his office at Holi in Vasai. Online registrations are in progress. So, sir, coming to you. Yep. Good morning mm -hmm. and thank you for your precious time. Yes, good. Morning. Yeah. So, as you know, sir, most of our students in the 10th mm -hmm. and 12th mm -hmm. are going to give their uh, exams very mm -hmm. soon. There are many challenges and questions before them. Mm. Uh, I would like to ask you the answer to the three most sought after uh, questions and mm. doubts that are there in the students' and parents' mind when it comes to exams and careers. Mm. So the first question is, what mm. strategies or resources do you recommend for students preparing for exams mm. to manage stress and anxiety effectively? And how can parents support their children yes. during this challenging time? Well, uh, yes. Well, well, first of all, uh, thank you, Mr. for giving me this opportunity to uh, talk on this very vital point. Because examinations means a lot of stress and uh, students, you know, uh, take to some extreme steps at times. And uh, I like to describe this period uh, as a period of confusion. And that's quite understandable. Because parents, you know, they, they take uh, these examinations, you know, too seriously. They think that uh, the 10th and 12th means, you know, uh, uh, deciding uh, everything depends on that. It's a fact that those who are in 10th standard now, next two years will decide 60 years of their life. I think that should be very clearly understood. These exams are important. They, uh, they are, uh, you know, uh, crucial turns in their life. But that's not everything. Examinations uh, is not the final judgment on their abilities and future. Now, if we look at ourselves, if we, uh, uh, we do not know where our 10 standard and 12 standard mark list is. These things are important, but they are not the deciding factors. Life is a long journey. And um, if you look at career as a journey, you'll realize that uh, it has to be uh, you know, a happy journey. Uh, education has to be, as we say, education has to be uh, a joyful experience, right? which has not uh, uh, been the case these days. And uh, you will come across uh, parents who are overly worried and, you know, what to do, kasa karna, kai karil, devuzane, kasa hoi, admission, because there is a great deal of competition and all that. But I think if they develop proper clarity, that what exactly they want from life, how to achieve, how they can plan for their career, then uh, the, a lot of anxiety could be managed. This is, uh, I would say, rather overblown. And a lot of, you know, classes and all, they cash on this particular thing that, you know, the stress. Now, uh, the CBSC has decided to go for open book system. That's a sort of attempt to deduce that particular pressure. Uh, that was talked about by 1990, the URAU committee and all those things. Yashpal committee. What is very important, I believe that parents should understand that they have a role to play. Now, if you, now 12 standard exams are going on. Uh, if you look at the students and the environment that is uh, prevailing at home, you will see that it's very tensed. Uh, no television and, you know, a lot of bombardment with advice, these, that, do these, hacker, and then what happens? Uh, the one who is preparing for a simple board exam, consider it as a life and death situation. You will see a lot of students, uh, every year we see a lot of students committing suicide just because they have, uh, they have faced some problems with the examination, though they did not fare well in some papers. This is very sad part. And the whole system is to be blamed. But I think parents should see to it that their children are not victimized by the, by the whole thing. Uh, now, exams are there, whatever preparation they have made. Uh, I would suggest that parents should be happy with uh, the preparation that the students have done. 
because you know uh, I, i like to call parents as marxist they want marx 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 uh, we have communist and marxist the same way no they go for marx kitna aya kitna laya if you see no this is how they speak i remember uh, I, i used to prepare students for ssc english uh, somehow get 35 you know davi english hamka spark that was one program i used to watch and i got a call from a parent and that parent said uh, then i asked no kitna kam hota hai all those things kitna aata hai bolte he gets around 93 94 then i said what's the problem aur kitne chahiye na aur do bad jate so this is you know there are no problem children there are problem parents we say so it is positive emotionally secure environment at home that is a very crucial thing if there is joyful environment and parents tell their children that we have seen you work hard we are happy with your preparation now go and do your best and whatever happens whatever is the outcome we are there with you then the child will feel strengthened because that emotional security is missing we get lot of distress calls these days uh, i was in bangalore still i used to get calls uh, that sir i have not done well sir ye ho gaya wo ho gaya now paise mo dikhao all those things and uh, here parents need to understand that our children are hugely frustrated are hugely uh, under pressure and uh, if if that that crucial support is not coming from the parents because anyways when you open the door you know that's what we we say that is house when they open the door you they, they always welcome you but if there are conditions that you know if you have not scored this this percentages then you are not good and all that should you know be really it to the past and uh, parents should be happy with their child's performance and when emotionally secured environment can definitely help but when it comes to resources i think prayer is something that i always believe in that they should pray together and uh, you know uh, 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 when it comes to studies i would suggest that keep reading the textbooks and don't take pressure at the last moment enough yeah. you have prepared now whatever is going to come that's that's what it is uh, go and do your best and uh, don't take this exams too much to heart you know don't blow the things out of proportion uh, there are lots of ways and means now the new education policy has thankfully reduced the importance of board examinations mm. you see uh, for most of the professional courses you have career apt- uh, entrance examinations immediately after 12 career starts after 12 not after graduation that's one shift that has come up and uh we need to uh, understand one thing that parents at least should know uh the personality type of their child you know the child's potential where is the fitment uh, there should not be any preconceived notion that if a child scores about 90 then only the child is intelligent it's not like that we have uh, uh, you know the multiple intelligence and everything all these things are there yeah. find out what your child is good at and they will definitely find some good things because my experience is whenever uh, children come uh, students come for counseling with their parents and i ask them how introduce your child to me then they start you know with a big list of uh, you know uh, what is lacking in them and all those things then i tell them tell me at least five good things that the child has then they have a big list also so they need to go beyond the mark list there is life beyond the mark list and life is a big journey uh, and uh, it's it's for us to decide how happy that journey can be so let not let them not be given you know a lot of stress and uh, no unnecessary anxiety because a lot of people will keep giving them advice don't do this do that all those things and at the end of the day the child is frustrated i think this things could be avoided so i feel that if, the parents are more frustrated than the children especially this is exactly the they consider this as their life and death situation absolutely because they do that if they if their child is not doing well in exam that is their personal failure yes and that is what that is something you know so that needs to be how can parents uh, change this attitude and uh, their approach towards the children even especially during the exams so like for most of the children exams are going to begin tomorrow which is the 1st of march and uh, hmm. many of them the next week so how can parents actually manage the children during these examination especially the breaks in between i see i mean they should i think they should uh, you know uh, uh, they should not ask them to study till late you have prepared enough with that now you know have a nice uh, you know sleep a proper days regime could be planned i mean get up the way you know no, there should not be any specific environment that now the exam has come so till late night they prepare and everything then there are a lot of psychosomatic problems they develop acidity and lot of other things because you know these things then come out in 
various forms so i believe that let it be taken very lightly okay you have you have prepared we know we will be happy with what you can uh, you know deliver uh, you have studied in front of us so we are happy and no specific you know you are now the, the exact, tomorrow your maths paper is there or oh, too difficult and do this do that last minute rush you know these things if avoided you know then there will be what i call emotional sanitization and then the child will feel confident i think parents are teachers to parents have to understand that they have a crucial role to play they need to accept the child unconditionally with whatever preparation there should not be if this then only that 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 i think should be avoided that should be avoided and this this pressure comes from lack of awareness about uh, how to plan for the career absolutely See, there are lots of careers where you require only 50% the board's marks importance has been reduced now so what is very important when parent parents are aware of the real potential of the child and if there is proper career planning then half of the pressure goes half of the anxiety goes because if they know the destination they can definitely plan for the job it's all about planning Uh, you know we, have, we never do like this that we take tiffin and water bottle and go and sit in the train that we see to first ask where the train is heading to and where we want to go if that clarity is there if that career planning is there then half of the pressure goes they yeah. know what to do yeah. next 5 years 7 years 10 years down the line yes yeah, so because you have been guiding students uh, since the past two decades mm-hmm. and uh, we have many even entrepreneurs today even mm-hmm. teachers and uh, many good uh, good well performing professionals who have taken guidance from you uh, so one question is uh, it leads me to my last question because i know you're very busy uh, so with the evolving job market uh, what advice do you have for students in uh, selecting the right course and uh, which is not just aligned with their passions but mm. also uh, offer promising careers yes and uh, how can parents stay informed and how can they stay involved in their uh, child's uh, career deciding process in their career exploration and uh, how can they really assess the decision making process of the child uh, you used a very important word no just not informed but they should get involved that's very very important see if you look at the career scenario today so when we talk about career now uh, we can think of four goals the first goal can be uh, of course stability whenever a candidate comes to me and says that he is interested in this this field he has something on his mind then we need to plan for the career we need to look deep into the future suppose the child is in 10th standard so uh, 2024 10th standard 2026 12 standard 2030 will be his graduation now four years graduation two years masters that in seven years of education is still there so what will be possible change in the economy in the education field now we have to look deep into the future because he will come into job market after 7 years so what changes can happen life is very disruptive uh, you know you cannot predict anything we all suffer from what we call prediction disability but generally we can definitely keep on go that this candidate should have some stability in his life which is a misnomer you cannot say that you know you have done this course so that's enough they say in america we are trained as a doctor you may retire as an architect also because every 5 uh, 7 years 50% knowledge gets outdated now we have chat gpt almost 70% process related jobs are going to evaporate even highly qualified people can get employed today yes. so good deal of you know a very dicey and very fluid situation you cannot confidently say that this is going to happen and do this and you will get into this field by the time the chap has worked hard and mastered something it might uh, get the whole skill set will become updated because t- extremely disruptive we used to talk about uh, 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 paperless offices now we have paperless offices Uh, you know labor displacing growth this is how the technology is evolved so stability is one very very important career goal and uh, both parents and students should understand this why people want to work in a bank or government because meter chalu hai at least you have some job security because once you have job security you can plan you can predict the future if you go to a bank to get loan the job, bank will definitely look at whether your job will remain for or will continue for 5 10 years but today what has happened they send sms and throw people out of work today this is the scenario even if you look at it field almost uh, recruitment has uh, stopped almost now so uh, these trends need to be you know properly understood another thing is if a chap is getting into certain fields say for example chemical engineer 
we need to understand the shift that is happening in the era when we were in school we used to talk about mumbai as a industrial hub and mills and all that now mumbai is a service sector industry now manufacturing has shifted out of mumbai so if you do any course related to manufacturing you may have to relocate yourself now see it industry is shifting towards new bombay area we get girls from vasai who have done their ba me mca in it and all that now they are coming and asking for ba because 3 years to go 3 hours to go and 3 hours to come and then you know uh, in their personal life also they say they, they face lot of ups and downs when they get married they have a child no by the time they have to take take off in the career stage they Absolutely. have to take up those things so lot of things are coming into picture so stability can be one very very important goal when it comes to proper career planning so we say now if you fail to plan you plan to fail so when we are planning for it we have to look deep into the future and say that there has to be a, has some stability in the field that we want to job finance is always going to be no matter what is the technology evolution disruption but the human role will always be there creative fields will be there pharma uh, hospitality then uh, basic infrastructure entertainment this type of fields will always remain but you need to keep climbing the ladder you need to you know uh, reskill otherwise you become outdated Absolutely. you cannot work today's knowledge uh, we rightly say no, now intelligent is the one who will learn and learn and learn the mm-hmm. same way if on stability then we will have to keep learning keep it with that's the lifelong learning concept is there yes. the second goal we can keep is um, a financial security now students say they are interested in bts music and everything but as a career counselor definitely i will ask from where your salary comes financial security is there that is a very important fact and uh, i was in bangalore i uh, i was shocked to know that there are 70000 it companies in bangalore 70000 Even if you take ten people in a company, there in, in the region of almost a million youngsters, the whole economy is of youngsters. And I talked to a lot of students, and I understood the frustration that they have. Every four minutes, you will have a pub over there. It's a very different culture. But the uncertainty and all that, the lack of financial security, the job they have, project they have, that pressure is always there. So financial security has to be there. That's why when they get into a job, then all proper financial planning has to be there. There's a huge need. Financial security is needed because if a chap gets ten thousand, he scores ten thousand per respect. If he gets one lakh, he scores one lakh per respect. As simple as that. So that particular thing I'll do. Stability, financial security, and third goal will be growth. Whatever field the chap is joining, will there be growth five years, seven years, ten years down the line? Earning, learning, some proposed, or he has to stagnate in one particular job. Then there will be frustration. So here students need to understand that they should not do what is easy. They should do what is right for them. Couple of years they will have to stop. they should be ready for that they should not have uh, outlandish ex- expectation that mba kya matlab red carpet welcome hai 50 lakh ka package hai. it doesn't happen it not even you go to iit the nim you will find only 15% students are getting placement these days situation is rather green and recession is again creeping in parents need to understand this because parents come and tell me 25 lakh dele mba la ata 10 lakh khatam pump agar nahi 15000 all those things are happening they need to understand what is happening in the economy you know our children have to respond to ever changing the and the last goal that i'll keep is job satisfaction mm-hmm. that they should find purpose fulfillment in that people ask job satisfaction should be the first goal but if stability financial security and growth are not there why talk about the fourth goal so where this this our children can get these four goals where where they can convert their potential into performance then the questions of fitment comes into picture You cannot make Sachin Tendulkar into a chartered accountant. Or we, if we, if we had told Lakam Jeskar that he will become a professor, then you become a RBI professor or uh, you know a banker. That would be wrong. It will be wrong. Everyone has one's own abilities. Everyone is gifted, but in one's own way. Sachin Tendulkar has sports talent. Everyone, and there is some talent. But what generally we do, we go by the tenth standard mark list. We have conditioned thinking like eighty, eighty-five means science. Above ninety means the world is a doctor engineer. Then seventy seventy five means commerce. So skin niche arts. Or skin niche you go to TV college near toilet you have MCBC. So the, we have that condition thinking. But if you go to very good college in Mumbai, you will find that those who secure ninety eight also opt for arts or arts. So everyone has one's own personal. I did. I I always like to give my example. I was a good scorer. I got top score in tenth. Means very clever. So everyone had made a mini. रेस का घोड़ा जितता है मगर उसको पूछते को उसको दौड़ना था या नहीं सो रेस का घोड़ा बनाया जाता है एवरी वन विल मेक अ मेन इसको ये बनाएंगे ये बनाएंगे ये बनाएंगे ऑल दिस थिंग्स द सेम थिंग हैपन 
इतना परसेंटेज आया मीन्स आई हैव टू गो टू साइंस आई लाइक रिचुअल आई वेंट एंड जॉइन टीबी कॉलेज साइंस इन फर्स्ट फिफ्टीन डेज आई अंडरस्टूड दैट द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ कॉकरोच एंड नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ अपन अपना काम नहीं है आई यूज टू हेल्प मैथ्स टू सच एन एक्सटर्नल आई यूज टू से दैट मैथ्स को दुनिया से नष्ट करना चाहिए आई नेवर लाइक मैथ्स देन वॉट आई यूज टू डू आई टू आई नो गिव यू नो Uh, something to my you know a vada ko isko de de mera general topic that is how i actually did and what i was interested in sociology economics psychology history i used to read their books and i was so much engrossed in that i could have given their papers yeah thank I, god i mean thank god you didn't take science otherwise so much like god had better plans for me na after 12 science so i had good score i opted for arts people laughed at me people laughed at me and i said that aage ja ke main ruk jaun You see, a lot of doctors and engineers. They have left their field, and many of them are in music and acting. And see, yes, where they are. Yes. So it's a good idea. Parents should show the larger picture to children. Parents should understand them as individuals, understand their abilities. Search. We are not talking about subjects and marks. We are talking about abilities. Absolutely. What we call differential abilities. Uh, you know, there, you can always find children. No, board pe math ka sum dikhne ke pehle answer de diye. But that chap may not like to read sum. Someone is interested to work with machines. Someone is athletic. Someone is very good in languages. Someone is very good in maths. Everyone is good at something. We need to find it out. Everything is not revealed by six six subjects. So yes. parents should look at their children beyond the mark list. Keep the mark list aside. When children come to us, we say ninety five great. Let's keep the mark list aside. I S K liye thirty five hi lagte hai. Because what they want is not that the mark list will confidently say. You see M B A entrance may be. तुम्हारा रीडिंग राइटिंग चेक करते हैं सो स्टिल द सिस्टम डजेंट बिलीव दैट यू हैव मास्टर दैट दिस इज द सिनेरियो सो लेट्स कीप द मार्क्स द साइड व्हेन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी प्रोफेशन व्हाट दे नीड इज अ फिटमेंट यू नो जस्ट बिकॉज़ आई राइट गुड पोएट्री दैट डजेंट मीन आई कैन बिकम एयर फॉर स्पाइ यू रिक्वायर डिफरेंट स्किल सेट्स डिफरेंट इंटेलिजेंस फिजिकल मेंटल इमोशनल कॉम्बिनेशन सो सो योर वन सर इज मोर ऑफ अ मिक्स ऑफ करियर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट एंड काउंसलिंग एज़ वेल राइट Exactly, it is not exactly. just one thing it's a combination one thing and you know we don't have that concept that uh, you know that we identify that madha mulga maths madhe sangla madha mulga science madhe sangla languages madhe sangla parents are not aware they go by the mark list and that's a you know cut and paste it's not never cut and develop we prepare students not for learning or knowledge we prepare them just for the exam so it is entirely exam center and that is where you know the status or the caliber of the child is fixed that 90 means he is good it is not like that that's why they scrap the merit list because those who came in merit did not do well so what is very important what parents should do parents should look at their children as individuals accept them unconditionally find out what they are good at what they would like to do what makes them happy what you know they can do effortlessly where that what is the real potential there Marklish is not everything. Every seven, eight years, we have we we don't have the same cell in our body. Every time we evolve, we keep changing. So it's a good idea to go for a proper career aptitude test. These are scientific tests which will map their differential abilities. Differential abilities means what the chap is good at. We have concept of multiple intelligence. It's not that someone is good in science and math. That's why he is very intelligent. Someone can have the the great talent of art also, languages. There are lots of careers. available for those who are very good in languages or design for that matter when we think of design we think of three four courses but there are more than 10 12 15 courses available to that so this scientific aptitude test will give them complete idea exactly what are the abilities the child has which can be developed systematically uh, you know they are raw materially suitable for that and they can be you know a, a professional could be fashioned out of that So, if the child has management-related ability, he should not go to design. You get the point. So, suppose there is a designer in a chat, a very good designer. And if I, you know, tell him that okay, I'll get you a job in a in a bank nearby your house, you know, a cashier ka job, the mark potential. People will say what a lucky chap, but he will get frustrated because his talents will not be used. He will not be happy with that job. Then what's the point? Absolutely. You know, he is not going to be happy if. सकाळी उठून जायला वाटत नसेल तर इट डझंट मेक एनी सेन्स ऍज सिम्पल एज दॅट तर व्हॉट हॅपन्स नो दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम्स वी आर ऍक्च्युली पुलिंग अपॉन आर सेल्फ वी आर इन्व्हायटिंग द कॅस इन अ लाईफ अँड आय थिंक पेरेंट्स शूड किप द मार्क लिस्ट मिनिमम फिफ्टी पर्सेंट इज द नीड फॉर लॉ फॉर मॅनेजमेंट मोस्ट ऑफ द कोर्स फिफ्टी पर्सेंट देन दोज नाईन्टी पर्सेंट का कुठ इम्पॉर्टन्स ज्यादा रेलिवन्स नाही दॅट डझंट मीन वेन अ चॅप कॅन स्कोर नाईन्टी वाय यू शूड सिक्युअर एटी फायव्ह ऑल्सो यू शूड थिंक ऑफ नाईन्टी फायव्ह 
maximum effort maximum potential but what has happened that if you don't score well you are good for nothing that has to be kicked out now absolutely see i'll i'll tell you students who secure 99 percentile also commit suicide this is madness this is you know this is really madness 100 percent students are joining i iti courses this moment this is what is happening so i think parents should open their eyes they should know what is happening in the economy what is happening in the education system how many parents understand the new education policy the schools don't bother to talk to them that this is a new paradigm this is the new economy that is coming we have to prepare our students for the future not just for the board examination and this type of new dynamics have come in that's why you know sadly what has happened parent is a missing link you see go to any school the parents are kept outside the gate and they are they are the real estate holders it's a career is a joint venture between a school and a college and the family it, think of a triangle if the child is at the top at one end the family is there, at the one in the college or school is there when they come together the child will go up if they go far the child will come down it's a joint venture it's a collaboration but what has happened parents are ignorant and they have got to score great marks and everything marks is everything and that is where you know the commercial system that has evolved they 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 exploit that that and that's the fact that for one or two marks people lose admissions but now look at what is happening in engineering today last year more than 55000 seats were in this diploma a big no so when when you are you are thinking of getting into any particular field you need to know whether investment is happening there what is the technology disruption whether the industry is getting shifted out of mumbai you do chemical engineering you may not get job in mumbai because chemical engineering industry is not permitted in mumbai you will have to go to rohat taloda jamnagar where the industry is getting relocated so i saw at uh, in bangalore i saw that lot of youngsters they have to get uprooted they have to work here and lot of pressure and everything so it's not nothing is bad no field is bad but what needs to be understood is whether the child has the fitment to perform over there otherwise you will see lot of students many of them fail to complete the education because you know you are trying to fashion out anything out of anything then yes it doesn't work. so i would call upon parents and i would suggest them keep the marks to side they have finished the examination now let's do proper scientific assessment what are the abilities what are the abilities which could be uh, properly utilized in what fields then what happens they can go for plan a plan b plan c there is a proper plan and we can plan for next ten years you know what are the institutions what are the courses if not this what next so 50% tension goes because the chap knows what is to be followed next they has he has a road map he yeah. has a map he has then everything goes anxiety goes up so my experience is those who have done career aptitude test with us in 9th standard 10th standard they know what they want to do next so 50% of the students those who do they have no pressure because they know ke okay, after that lock enters the nice see 50% chai log together see don't they know what is the next step that's so very they, see so i think that is the right approach thank you so that. much for your insightful talk i think uh, even though it was a quickly planned session and you have taken out your precious time i know a student is waiting for you for counseling yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but i'm very thankful because education financial security job satisfaction and most importantly fitment these fitment. are the four major takeaways from the session today and uh, i'll be leaving your contact details at the end of the webinar and i hope that uh, parents as well as students would reach out to you and take sure. the right guidance from you sir so much but, but before i conclude let me add uh, uh, one uh, just one minute yes. see vacation is something they must not test they have to learn soft skills now you look at 85% success comes from soft skills and personality and only 15% from the domain knowledge that's the uh, harvard university survey so in vacation i will ask students who learn good english good reading writing skills study related skills uh, ben and best uh ben subtext excellent personality development program i will ask students to join these courses so that they develop their human capital that is very very important and i will ask students see what happens after you are 10th and after you are 12th cbsc icsc igcsc all students will have to face entrance examinations it's a good idea if i from cbsc know what icsc has taught or what state board is has taught so get hack up don't waste your vacation that is one very important skill work on your soft skill read some good books get motivated find out what you want to do find out your role models don't wait for the board examination marks don't decide your future entirely and exclusively based on your marks that is what is very important 
I think you can uh, approach your visiting madam. She has very fine portfolio of courses uh, where you can actually, you know, set yourself on the right path because motivated. A chap who is self-motivated, you know, half the work is done. So I would request you all not to waste your vacation, but keep adding value to yourself and find out what you really want. That is a very important thing. Sir. Keep adding very value to yourself, and it's, it's not just for students, but it's for all professionals at every exactly. level. Exactly. <laughs> because education is their only insurance. That's yeah. going to stand them. Wow! Thank Life you for your job. golden words. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, and take care. That's the end yeah. of our webinar. Yeah. Thank you. All the best.